So many people's lives have been destroyed by addiction. Whatever that form of addiction is, whether you're addicted to, to drugs, to alcohol, to pornography, to masturbation, to whatever your addiction is. I know what it's like to be bound in addiction and feeling like you can never get delivered. But I want to let you know, regardless of how bad that addiction is, the power of the Lord can break that once and for all. The power of the Lord can break that addiction down once and for all. The enemy wants to speak to your mind like, oh man, you never, you never, you know, break free from this. Especially when it's, and when it runs in the family. There are certain addictions that run in your family. Your, 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 great mo your grandmother, you know, dealt with it or grandfather dealt with it. You know, they've brothers and sisters dealt with it, your, your aunts and uncles. And, and then now you see your mom dealt with it and your sisters, your brothers. And now you're dealing with it. It's like, man, it's like a family thing. But I want to let you know that God will set you free from there. God will set you free. So if you're dealing with any type of addiction, I want to encourage you not to give up because God came. He came to set the captives free. Whatever is binding you right now, I just break that chain in the name of Jesus that you're going to be set free from any form of addiction, whatever it is. I just combine my faith with yours right now and I want you to receive it. I want you to receive that. In the name of Jesus, you're going to be set free. Now, remember this. You have to desire. You have to want to be free. Because too many times, people get delivered. And then like two, three months later on again, sometimes sooner than that, they're back at the altar again. Again, pray for the same thing over and over again. You have to want it. You have to want it so badly. And then you have to surround yourself with a new company. You cannot get healed from the place that got you sick. You can't go dive in again with the same people, with the same environment, with the same situations, with the same circumstance that got you in that addiction in the first place. You got to break free from it and you have to pray and say, Lord, I need some new friends. I need a new environment. And there are times when God will physically remove you from where you are because the place that you are right now, it is not conducive to your growth. It is not conducive to what he wants to do in your life. So God will physically remove you from one location and send you somewhere else because the place that you are would not help you so i pray that you will allow the lord to lead you in the right direction you will allow him to just take you from wherever you are to wherever he needs you to go that addiction will break because listen here's the thing whatever addiction that you don't break or overcome it's going to be passed down to your children. And the reason why you notice that in the family, the same thing run over and over and over again, is no one ever stood up and fought for it. But that's gonna be you. You're going to be a addiction breaker in your family. God is going to raise you up so you can break whatever form of addiction that you're dealing with so it will not be passed down to your children, your grandchildren, or anybody else in your family. Listen, it stops with you no more, no more. So we'll break addiction right now in the name of Jesus.